Hey folks, Father Sumbutik from CG by Reser. Today we're going to create a very simple uh, velvet shutter for EV and uh, which will work as well with cycle. So let's just demo it and we're going to make it later. So um, it has a base color. So I have a base color here. It's a simple cheetah pattern. So I'm just going to connect it here and let's see it here. And uh, there is also a bump map. So this is a very simple Boronai bump map. So I'm just going to connect it here in the height. There we go. So it looks like this. Let's see a uh, variant here. Let's turn it off here. Okay. So it looks like this. And um, yeah, so let's see what it has. So this is the, it's called Sigma. So what it does is basically, you know, you can uh, create a layer weight with it. So the darkening weight, uh, usual darkening weight we have in, uh, you know, velvet shadow. And there is a texture darkness so with this you can darken your shutter a little bit so by default we're using 0.5 here uh, there is also a highlight with it you can create more highlight in these uh, regions if you want to so I'm just going to use default 10 here there is also roughness if you want to use roughness here you can use roughness uh, there is shin tint and uh, this is the bump strength and this is the bump normal so if you have any normal you can connect it with there so yeah something like this all right okay so let's start and uh, let's make it by the way if you want to download it the link will be in the description as usual all right so let's get started with this one so let's create a very new material here so I want to use some base color here. So I have already created a cheetah procedural pattern here. So I'm just going to use it. You know, it is nothing, uh, just a cheetah pattern, simple Voronai cheetah pattern. So I'm just going to connect it with this base color. And this will become something like this. All right. So what we can do now is basically uh, we can create a bump map. So let's create a bump and uh, let's create a Voronai this is for creating the bump map here so I'm just going to connect it to here uh, here there we go so it will be 300 and um, it will be an F2 and the distance should be 0 0.01 okay so now we have this all right basic setup all right so now what we need is basically we're going to create a layer weight this is where everything is working so for this layer weight what we're going to create is basically um, let's create a mix node here first so it's a mix RGB and I'm going to plug it here and uh, I'm going to create a difference node here okay difference now what I'm going to do is basically we're going to connect this Fresnel to a uh, factor okay so what our target is basically create a um, create a texture which will surround the Fresnel so let's see how it works so what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to create a vector a vector math and let's create a multiply here I'm just going to connect it here and what it will do is basically it will highlight uh, you know uh, darkening the value a little bit so I'm just going to create a value node here and uh, this will be a 0.5 value so I'm just going to connect it from here okay so number one is done now the second one will be another vector math and uh, this math will go from this guy here and there will be another value so it will be a highlighter so I'm just going to create value here and it will be done with this okay so now we already have something so let's turn off roughness there we go so we already have something like this so it will be a height a highlight and uh, you can see the highlights here and uh, yeah so let's create a 10 all right so what else is basically 
yeah we are going to connect this layer weight with the normal here okay so now we have something like this all right so now what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to create a math note simple math note and uh, we're going to create it with multiply and i'm going to create give it a value of minus 0 0.01 now i'm just going to connect it from here so now you can see that we're having the effect okay we want it something like this all right so on this frontal we can plug it with specular as well and we can plug it with shin okay the shin tint should be one and uh, actually um this is it all right there we go okay if we disconnect the color rather than using this if we go for an rgb here and uh, let's give it some color something like this and uh, if we connect it here as well there we go you will see the same material here so what we need to do is basically either you can give it a dim texture value or you can just dim it here okay okay so it will dim it a little bit to create the good highlight here there we go <coughs> so that's how we are working with it actually so it's simple all right this may create some confusion so what it does the original color is basically one okay but in velvet what you will see that the surface has a very dim color and the highlight will give you much more uh, you know um, more kind of a specular thing okay so that's why we're using a highlight here to create a pop highlight here you know this is the highlighter and we're using multiplication of 10 and this one we're dimming it to you know create the highlight more pop okay which you will see a phenomenon happens in uh, velvet shadow so we're trying to make it here it's up to you how you want to use it but we will see that uh, the 0.5 is actually needed so that's why i'm using it to darken it on um, the value a little bit all right so now let's uh, pack it up okay to pack it up <coughs> what we're going to do is basically we're going to select these things there okay and now let's go to group ctrl g group and uh, we need uh, first we need our base color so what i'm going to do is basically i'm just going to disconnect this one and i'm going to create this one and let's disconnect again let's connect it again here and this will be our base color and this base color will be connected with this vector and let's delete this vector we don't need it okay now what i'm going to do is basically we're going for another value which is called sigma so let's connect it with this there you go and let's name it sigma there we go and sigma has default value of 15 or uh, minimum 0 maximum 100 okay now we need a uh, texture darkness so i'm just going to connect it uh, with this and i'm going to name it texture darkness there we go and the texture darkness has default value of 0.5 minimum 0 maximum 1 and it will be connected with this guy so let's disconnect it here and here is our texture darkness so i'm just going to delete it here again we will have a highlight so let's connect it here and i'm just going to name it highlight there we go and uh, let's connect it with this guy highlight has default value of let me see default value of 10 
minimum 0 maximum 100 done now we have roughness let's connect it with this then we have chin tint let's connect it with this and then we have height there we go and then we have bump strength and probably we have bump normal okay let's name them bump strength <coughs> and bump normal okay so that's it and uh, now let's check them there we go let me set those values first so 0.5 highlight uh, 10 roughness 1 and uh, yada 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 okay sigma 10 there we go okay so it's done so go here here yep yeah. all right it's working so if we go here you can see it here all right so that is done and uh, now you can create whatever you want to see it say it will get ev shadow whatever it is so yeah so the link will be in the description you can download it from there and uh, that is it i'm father sympathetic from city virus and we're good to see you next time bye bye